Hey channel, um, sorry for not posting last week, I had a very, um, eye-opening therapy session, um, sort of put me in a funk all day, um, which actually is a perfect segue into my question for this week. Um, I wanted to know, I know a lot of young gay people struggle with depression and they struggle with, um, uh, self-confidence and, and self-worth, and so I wanted to know, I wanted to open up the forum and sort of see if anyone, um, in our channel or any of our subscribers, any viewers, um, if they've gone through any sort of rough time in their life, um, because, uh, I'm starting therapy for, um, various reasons, but, uh, feeling sort of down lately is one, one of them. Um, but yeah, enough with the sadness. Um, let's get to the questions. Actually, since I missed last week, I wrote down all the questions that I missed, and I have seven, which I thought was perfect, because it's seven shades of gray. So I will start. Guy asked, uh, Guy asked, ten years ago, what did you think the world would be like today? Ten years ago from today, I was ten. So I probably thought that the world was going to be a lot cooler than it actually is. Um, I had this warped perception of what was like interesting and what was unique when I was little. So I um, envi envisioned myself when I was older. I would have glasses and braces and lots of piercings and, and have weird hair. And so um, I guess some of that is partly true. I do have a piercing and I wear glasses. but. In terms of the world, er, in terms of the world, I, I don't really remember what I thought the world was going to be like when I was 10. <laughs> Guy's other question was, um, he wanted to know the most romantic location that we can think of or that we've been to. Um, or I think, I think you started to say that we've been to, but I'm going to answer both of those. Um, the most romantic location that I've ever been to, um, was this old mining town in Alaska. Um, McCarthy, McCarthy and Kennecott are two sister towns that they're, they're right next to each other. Um, and it's this old, completely abandoned ghost town. Um, there's, there's an inn on one side of town that's the populated area. A lot of, like, folk art places. And then the other side is this mine, you know, with rotting red paint and it was rusty and you could go into the buildings and see all of the, the the silos of whatever that they were mining there. Um, you could actually go into the caves too in the mountains, which we did not do when I was there, because um, it wasn't that safe. But it was just the most beautiful place I've ever been, and especially I imagine if if you're with someone that you like, um, I can see that being a pretty pretty romantic place. And Ted wanted to know what we thought about friends with benefits, and. While I'd like to believe that I could be able to have a friend with benefits, I don't think that it's in my, it's not in my, um, my person, I guess, to really have a solely sexual relationship with someone and not be, and not not care about them. I think I would care too much about them to the point where I would be the one wanting to have a relationship with them. Ted's other question, he wanted to know about our opinion on the fag-hag relationship, or the fag-fag-hag relationship. Um, I have a fag-hag in the sense that she's not, she's not, um, sort of, like, stereotypically fag haggy like, big and, and loud and wants to be a gay man, but sort of she attracts a lot of gay guys, so being around her, I get exposed to all the other gay people that that she knows, so in that regard, um, I think sometimes it can be a healthy relationship, and sometimes, especially on the hag part, um, girls get sort of caught up in the idea that a gay guy is this way and only this way, and they sort of expect that from that friend, so when, say, the fag in the relationship wants to be more serious and hang out and, and have actual, like, deep conversation with their best gal pal, it's harder, I think. Greg asked, what do you do to distract yourself from looking for a boyfriend? And I would say that I don't do anything. 
Um, I'm constantly, constantly looking for looking for a boyfriend. Um, so much to the point where I see a cute guy and I don't even wonder if he's gay or straight. I wonder if he's single or not. <laughs> not. So that's kind of bad. I'm a little deprived right now. Um, but I think if I were to distract myself from looking for a boyfriend, it would probably go into either exercising too much or working too hard, because um, those are the only two things I really have going for me in school right now. Um, and I would probably say working too hard would be the, the likely default, because um, I have so much work to do. Greg's other question was, how often do we get tested for HIV? And the last time I was tested was in the summer. Um, I believe in Ju June, I think. Um, and I usually get tested during the summer, even if I haven't been sexually active. I just go and I get tested just for my own benefit, so I can know, so I can update that um, that date for when people ask if I if I know that I'm HIV negative. Becky asked. If we have anything in our wardrobe of sentimental value that we keep because of the sentimental value. This sweater, actually. You can see there are holes in the armpits and in the, the collar. Um, I've had this since 8th grade, but it always has a way of finding itself back to me. Um, I used to lose it a lot. Uh, in high school and I would end up finding it in the most random places but it would always come back to me like like it, it knew that it, we belonged together um, like one time I found it after the winter when the snow melted on the tennis courts at my high school like pushed into the corner and it had gotten this like I don't know if it still has it but it had this weird yeah it's um right that pink part it got like naturally bleached um, from the de decomposition I guess of the leaves during the winter so it has this way of finding itself back to me um, it really marks the point when I started saying I need to start loving myself so I hold on to this even though it's falling apart and everyone says I should get rid of it because it's so important to me so yes I do keep things for sentimental value that's all for this Friday I will see you next Friday um, and hopefully, I will not miss that date. Hopefully. Um, but have a good day. Bye.